Welcome back um, to the Enchanted Forest, the Fairy Wood. Um, we're going to have a look round again to see, not fairy rings, because fairy rings, um, I thought I might be able to find some, but on further research, it tends to be um, mushrooms in a circle or an arc, uh, mainly. So they need damp conditions, and mushrooms aren't growing at the moment in these parts of the woods. So... We can have a look for trees and wildlife and things like that and anything that we come across on our journey through the woods. So stay watching. As you can see, the bluebells started to come up. I can see quite a few in the distance as well. So I reckon given another week, this wood would be carpeted with bluebells. Um, some over there. I mean, it's so silent, there's no cars. You can't hear any cars in the distance like usual. And all you can hear is the birds singing. Sounds good to me. No traffic. No one. Up on this tree, there's um, some, some sort of vine or something that's grown up it, but it reminds me of the Netflix, um, that series on Netflix called Stranger Things, where the creature is underneath the upside down and it's sort of like worm-like and that's what that's what it looks like it goes right up to the top right up amazing it is a shining example of where <laughs> gnomes or fairies you know would live it's very moss covered and inside there's lots and lots of little hidey holes inside there. I guess you might think I've gone absolutely bonkers, but I've always been bonkers, so that's fine. Wow, look at the shape. It's a beautiful tree. I mean, I don't know how old this, this tree is, but it's pretty old, I'd say, just by looking at it. So these boxes that I posted last time, they've got, they have got a hole and it's in the back. Um, a lot of people say that it's a mouse box to see how many mice are in the woods or a dormouse. Um, others said bird box, but because it's on the back rather than the, the front. Um, I'd say it wasn't a bird box, but who knows? Spotted a hole, a little hole. Oh, oh, there's a squirrel. There he is. There's a squirrel. Squidgy. Here's a squirrel. Hello. He's a little grey squirrel. Oh, he'll want to move. I let you go up the tree. Go on then. You're going to go up. You'll launch yourself at me, are you? Where's he gone? Oh, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Um, I've noticed this hole, and how cute is this hole? Look, I wonder what lives in there. Put a big spider now, my luck. Wow. Some pom poms in the trees. I don't know what they're about, but I've seen another one down there. 
I'm not going to say the fairies put them there because we all know that's not true. Oh. Whoops. There's another pom pom here. I'll try not to destroy this one. Um, oh, this one's got eyes on it. I think they put it out for the kids that are coming on walks with their parents and maybe it's just to show them you know, something to look for. Oh, it's a chick. That's a little chick. Like an Easter chick. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Near that pheasant. I love all this, um, this ivy sort of hanging, just sort of hanging on, in the trees, hanging down from the branches. Reminds me of a sort of, sort of thing would be growing up an old castle somewhere. It's like a, a bit of a fairy tale. Look how long it is. Reaches the floor now, it's got nowhere else to go. Here as well. Well, a little stream, which is really nice. Now, if I said that the gnomes built that bridge, would you believe me? It's all right, I'm not that mad. Not so cute. More ivy over there. This peaceful sound of running water. Go deeper in in this woodland, you might come across a fairy ring, but the vegetation and everything looks very, very similar to the other other stuff. So I'm thinking that it's probably quite impossible to to find one. Apparently, there's quite a few in France, but as you can't travel at the moment. I don't think there's any hope of getting there. <coughs> so, leopards in the woods. Weird and spots, spots of law, splodges on the trees. Look at that. coming from it but it's 
branch has been little branch has been broken off on each of them see but it looks here like it's tears it looks like the tree's crying because it's lost its branch there's a little hole down here um, that I reckon some sort of creature would live in or a fairy if you believe in that sort of thing or a gnome um, I love little holes in trees under the, the trees um, roots I find it very interesting there's nothing in there This bit reminds me of, say, um, you're writing a story about fairies or gnomes or something like that. This would remind me of a place where they'd hang out. Definitely, for definite, this would be a place where the woodland f folklore folk would hang out, definitely. Um, some cute little steps here made out of logs just randomly put and again you get to some beautiful trees with the moss halfway down them again I love that doesn't that look that looks enchanting that looks like a enchanted forest if ever there was one another little hole. So cute. But over there in the um, on one of the branches there's a little bird but there's also a robin. Everywhere I go robins always seem to to be there. I'm following which is weird. I saw one earlier but he disappeared. But you can't see him, but he is there. The camera's not picking up very well. Oh, he's gone. There's some fungi on the tree. I'm not going to touch it, could be poisonous. But it's very interesting colours. But never touch anything like that unless you 100% know what you're looking at interesting um, collection of fungi or mushrooms on here beautiful colours I don't want to drop my phone in them. I definitely don't want to drop my phone in them. But they're so pretty. Sort of greys and yellows and oranges. Look a bit like different coloured sands. I've come a bit earlier today. Um, it's glorious sunshine all around, um, absolutely glorious, look at this, look at this log, how beautiful is that? All the moss growing around there, and the vines up the tree.
there's no one about. It's just really peaceful. All you can hear is the birds singing. It's like the world's ended. Because usually this wood would be packed with people walking their dogs or walking about where so we're lucky those beautiful flowers changing wood um there were yesterday we come and there wasn't any bluebells but now you can see there's quite a few popping up everywhere so i reckon in a couple of days this whole place will be carpeted in bluebells so we'll come back we'll come back then and have a look and see if it's all all covered in whole carpet of purple